Hey tribe, what is the vibe? Welcome back to Born Little Veil Tarot. I'm Kay and I'm here to do another reading for the collector. Holy Spirit, make me a clear channel. Please give me clear, concise, accurate messages for the collector. Archangel Michael, I ask that you protect me from anything that is not of the holiest white light. Anything that is not of the holiest white light, please do not allow it to come in. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. All right, I'd like to thank my new subscribers. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. For those of you who have been rocking with me since below 50, I love and appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for the overall support to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. And thank you for hitting that subscribe if you enjoy or resonate with the message. Okay, remember that these are general messages, so take what fits and leave what doesn't. Also, a he, maybe a she, and vice versa, so just flip it to how it goes for your story. Also, if I say something out of left field, it's just because I'm picking it up, so I'm going to drop it because it may resonate for somebody, okay? All right. Holy Spirit, what does the collective that's watching need to know? What messages do you have for the collective? Purgatory ahead. Energy harvesting. Surprise. Family issues. While I was shuffling the decks to the, the um we got good intentions. The the towel card kept popping out. It popped out like two or three times. What else? Insecure. Cry me a river. Build a bridge, then jump. Somebody just trying to use emotional manipulation. I lied because I couldn't be to hurt you. <clears throat> okay. So that's all we have for the white color. Let's see what we have at the bottom of the deck. Playing you for a fool. So somebody could have been playing you for a fool. Behind that, we have a windfall. So you guys could be seeing a lot of shifts and feeling a lot of changes happening. Okay. Somebody is doing spell work here, and whoever this person is, they about to get dealt with, okay? This person could also be having family issues. Whoever this person is, they're also insecure, and they engage in a lot of criminal activities here, okay? But somebody lied because they couldn't bear to hurt you, all right? They could be trying to use emotional manipulation or somebody's trying to use emotional manipulation here all right and somebody's over it whoever's trying to be whoever's the one that's being manipulated emotionally they don't give a damn okay what else spiritual hater mm -hmm. Based on your spirituality, your light, magic, power, divination abuser. Yep. <laughs> yeah. What else? So, like I said, this person, this person is the person that's going through all these, these tower moments right now. That's why that kept popping out. Okay, because divination, divination abuser also popped out. Well, I'm trying to think of the name. Oh, with Dirty Orpha. Mm-hmm. Inside scoop. So somebody's trying to be all up in your business. Yep, curious about you. 
<laughs> so somebody is curious about what you have going on in your life. Somebody's trying to get info on you or trying to just trying to see what's going on with your life. They're probably trying to see if you you okay because of all the crap they've been doing. At the bottom of the deck, incarcerated, locked up, about to be, always in and out. So this person could be, um, we do have criminal here. So like I said, this person could engage in some type of criminal activity. All right. But this person is having a lot of family issues right now. Whoever this person is, they're insecure and they could be surprised because nothing that they're, they're doing towards you is working. Okay. What's the spiritual hater? Okay, so this person, I'm hearing this person could be coming towards you to try to emotionally manipulate you or try to make you feel like they have good intentions. Okay, what's this spiritual hater? So this person could hate the fact that you are a gift. You may have been a blessing at one point in time to this person, or this person just hates the fact that you have some type of gift here, okay? You, you probably have some type of spiritual gift. What's this divination of you, Thief. Yeah. So this person was abusing divination to try to steal whatever this gift is that you have. They were probably trying to harvest your energy, as well so they probably tried to harvest this gift through divination okay this person they tried to steal your energy yeah what's this inside scoop bad health so this person could be trying to see if you're sick or not or if anything that they're doing towards you is working i feel like this person could be in bad health because everything is going back to get protected. Okay? This is curious about you. Mature woman. Yeah. They want to see if, if if whatever they're doing is working. They want to see if you're you're reversed based on the things that they've been doing. At the bottom of the deck, we have mature man. <clears throat> yeah, and behind that we have false person. So yeah. All right. What's this spiritual hater? Widower. So this could be somebody that lost um, a husband at some point in time. For, for some of you, this could also be somebody that tried to make your person a widower by taking you out, okay? What is this divination abuser? Sorrow. Reverse. They're not sorry. Whatever this person is doing, whatever they did using divination to steal whatever, they're not sorry about it, okay? What is this inside scoop? about you malady yeah they're curious if you sick or not they try to listen <sighs> <clears throat> because they're sick <laughs> 
Now they're sitting here thinking like, what is going on? Is it just me that's sick or are they sick too? Now they're curious. They're curious about whether or not you, you upside down because they want you to be sick. They wanted you to be sick. This person tried to make you sick. We got hope at the bottom of the deck. Stop it. Okay, yeah. And we got lover behind that. So I'm just hearing jilted lover. Okay. What is this spiritual hate out? Stubbornness. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. This person, whoever this person is, they're very arrogant. Okay, this person does not listen to reason. This person does whatever they want and then they suffer the consequences. <laughs> okay, so if this person, all right, so my, my, my channel, my messages usually resonate with light workers, empaths, chosen ones, star seeds, okay, elect ones, all right? So if this person, they have been getting, I feel like this person has been getting nudges to leave you the hell alone and this person did not listen they kept doing whatever it is that they wanted to do because they're stubborn okay they got messages okay to leave you alone and they just did not they kept trying to, to steal something from you it's like this person was only thinking about themselves okay and now they put themselves in some type of situation here this person could be sick I feel like this person is sick. Mentally, physically, all the above. What's this divination of you, Zal? Self-love. Yeah. You got too much self-love. They couldn't, they could not affect you because of the way you love yourself. It's like you're not, you don't operate on low, on a low frequency. You don't operate in low vibration. You're very high vibrational. Okay. So whatever they were trying to do to steal your energy, it wasn't working. It wasn't working. Maybe this person is in some type of despair and is trying to come out of it. What's this inside scoop? Right. Yeah. <laughs> they afraid. I told you this person is in their head now with this thoughts and this bad health. They afraid and they're paranoid that they are go something is going to happen to them because they wanted you to be the one that's sick. All right? We got inside scoop with bad health and thoughts and fright. And then we have curious about you with mature woman reverse and malady. Okay? What's this curious about you? This person wanted you out of here. We got memory. Hmm. But some of you, this person could be wanting to... um. A mask at the bottom of the deck. This person could be wanting to come towards you, okay? But I feel it's just so that, yeah, they could cause some type of injury to you because I feel like they feel like whatever they're doing in the dark energy that they're doing it in is not working. And it's, it's putting them in some type of problems here health wise okay what's this spiritual hater what's this 
spiritual hater. We got the sun, Leo energy. Got the sun, the lovers, and the world. Okay. Gemini energy. Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio energy. So I'm picking it's, it's heavy Leo energy. Okay. But somebody, it's like they don't like the fact that you are such a positive person. I feel like you could be successful as well and I feel like no matter what this person tries to do to you it's like uh, I'm hearing you take a, a licking and keep on ticking okay so whatever this person has been trying to do it's not none of it is working okay I feel like with this lovers here what else for this spiritual hater? Page of Wands. This is some type of good news here. I feel like. I feel like this person sees that you just you just moving on with your life okay i feel like this person feels like you have people have deep love for you i feel like pe this person feels like you have it easy when it comes to like your love relationships and i feel like this person it's like they just hate on that they just hate on that some of you could be traveling okay but I feel like this person sees that you're accomplishing things, okay? Like your love life is, this person is just jealous of everything that you have going on. They're jealous of the way people love you, like genuinely, and they're jealous of your success. They're jealous of the way that you're a positive person and that you just inspire people. I feel like they're jealous of the fact that you, you're, you're an inspiration, you come up with ideas, you just have a sense of spiritual freedom that this person does not have. And this is what they were trying to get from you. This is what they wanted. This is what they were coveting. <sighs> What's this divination of you, sir? Ten of Wands. Hmm. What else? So this person, I feel like. Hold on. this person is burdened by the fact that you are very you have a lot of inner guidance you have a lot of spiritual guidance right and you love yourself okay so whatever they were trying to do with this divination yeah queen of cups it's like it was never gonna touch you <laughs> this it, this listen this person was struggling it's a burden just for them to even try to do whatever to steal this energy from you is hard for them they can't and they it's like they 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 can't do it but they keep trying to do it they keep trying to do it but because of the love that you have for yourself you came out as the queen of cups 
It's like you're full of love. You're full of compassion. You care about people. You actually care about people. So it would never work. It would have never worked. What is this divination of you then? You could spend a lot of time to yourself. You could spend a lot of time in isolation. Just, you know, just reflecting and doing a lot of soul searching. You know? We have the emperor. Yeah, I feel like there's somebody that could be coming in, okay, as well, or you just you're the type of person that you're a leader. You're stable, okay? You're disciplined and focused. What's this inside? Oh. So it's like this person, like I said, you don't operate in a low vibration. So this person is like, they can't. They can't get to you. This, you, your, en your energy and your essence makes this person insecure. We got the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. You only you focused on your, your your stability. You're focused on building. You got your head down. You just grinding and focused on your point at this time. Okay? And this person is trying to figure out why they're sick and you're still building. Okay? We got judgment. Yeah. This person was doing the most here, yeah. and spirit had to call judgment, okay? So now this person could be wanting some type of mercy because they out here and in bad health, scared and paranoid that something is going to happen to them because they know what they were trying to do to you, okay? And spirit called judgment on that ass. This is their reckoning, Okay? What else for this inside scoop? Scorpio energy here. Aries energy with this emperor. Virgo with this hermit. We got the seven of, the seven of cups. So what else? This person may have been trying to confuse you as well. Or put you under some type of illusion. Okay, we got Ace of Swords. Reverse. Yeah. <laughs> this person was definitely trying to put you under some type of confusion spell as well. Mm -hmm. I feel like because this person sees that you're so focused and everything is, is going so well for you, things are moving in a positive direction. I feel like this person was trying to thwart that by putting some type of illusion, putting you under some type of illusion and confusing you so that that way you couldn't, that, that you, you wouldn't have any clarity. Okay. Your judgment would be clouded. What else? What is this curious about you? Yeah, I feel like this person wanted to mess with your, your headspace, your crown chakra. Yep, we got the empress. This person... <clears throat> they just... they they It's you. It's just you. <laughs> I don't feel like you could... Like, you didn't have to do nothing to this person... You may not have done anything to this person, okay? I don't feel like you did. This person is just, they are insecure in themselves. Yeah, we got the Knight of Pentacles here. So like I said, I feel like this person is wanting to come towards you, okay? But they're thinking about how to do it, all right? Because the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest knight in the deck. 
And I feel like this person, it's like, in order to be efficient in what they're trying to do, they're going to try to come towards you because the spell work is not working. What else for the spirits about you? Yeah, they're waiting for it to, and it's not working. Hmm. Three of Wands. Yeah. <clears throat> it's not going to work because you're protected. Period. Okay. God got you. Here, King of Swords. You may have also cut this person out of your life if this is somebody that you were friends with or something like that. What's the spiritual hater? Grudge holder. So they holding some type of grudge against you because they're going through endings, okay? Maybe they were exposed as well. <clears throat> Maybe they've been exposed to a lover that may have ended out a cycle with them with this um, world card here. And they just wanting some type of good news. What's this divination of you, sir? Impersonator. Yeah, this person is jealous of you. This person, bruh, this person wants your life. That's why they're trying to do so much to take you out. It's like they want to have that type of energy that you have where you love yourself. They can't, though. Because if they're sitting here trying to be a copycat, it's like they're insecure in who they are, so they have to try to be other people. <laughs> okay. What's this inside scoop? Same shit, different day. Yep. This person was doing something consistently to try to confuse you or to try to put you under some type of illusion here. Okay. They wanted you to have, like, they wanted you to be in some type of mental chaos. What's this curious about you? Romantic love affair. Yeah. This was all about some type of romantic love affair that this person had, quite possibly with your person, that did not work out. Okay? That's why they were trying to take you out. Yeah. And trying to force their way onto people. Okay. What's what's the outcome of this? What's the outcome? So right now this person could be almost they could be ready to go to jail or something. All right, or they could just be in spiritual jail. Okay, but this is definitely about a person that you were maybe married to or just had a higher level of commit higher level of commitment with. Wheel of Fortune reverse. With this mature man and this mature woman here, okay? We got Taurus energy here as well with the, the Hierophant, Libra. What else for the outcome? The Fool. Yeah. So this person is going through bad karma, okay? Because they don't want to change. All right? This person does things without thinking. Okay? This person makes foolish decisions. All right? Yeah. That end in heartbreak for them because they don't think. But somebody's wanting to, to have some type of reunion here. Okay? Somebody is definitely going through some type of bad karma here for making some type of hasty decision, all right? They made some type of impulsive decision, maybe to have some new star here, and it caused them heartbreak, 
or this is what's going to happen. I feel like this person is thinking about doing something impulsive, but they're going to only, they only going to break their own heart doing it. But I'm going to leave it here, guys. If you resonate with this, I hope it gave you some insight. If it did, like, share, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. I love you. Later.